greetings. We're going to show you how to write a Google Apps script that does some very basic stuff. It's going to clear the data in some of the cells in our spreadsheet here. I've created a mock order form. It's got an inventory and order columns for products that are listed over here in column B. And what we want to be able to do, check this out, clear entries, clear them all. This clears out all of these columns. So this is a basic example. It wouldn't take a lot longer to just go through and select and delete this stuff, but we want to show you how to create this. So the first thing that I've done to set this up is create named ranges. I've got week one, two, three, and four, and these are these columns where the inventory and the order amounts live created these ranges just to make it a little bit cleaner when we create our apps script. So I'm going to go and if you didn't see that I went to extensions app script, open up the script editor, it should be highlighted right here. You should have this code.js file, there might be a little uh, a function at the top when you first open this just delete that. And the first thing we want to focus on is this menu that we're creating. So there's a function that we have here. This comes straight from the docs on open. This will literally create this menu when we open the document. So in order to do that, we call the spreadsheet app, get UI, that's getting the user interface methods. We're creating menu with this method. We're gonna just call it clear entries. We're gonna add an item. I've labeled it clear them all. And then this right here, this is the important part. This is going to be the name of the function that this clear them all calls. So when I click this button right here, clear them all, it's going to actually call the function named clear range. And if there's not a function named clear range down here somewhere defined, it'll create an error. Nothing will happen. This method just creates a little separating line. You see this line in between these two? So we've got a little separator space, and then I've added another entry, this A1 notation version. This is just an alternate way to do the same thing. So if I come back here and I click this, this does the same thing. It clears out those entries just in the same way. Okay, back to the functions themselves. Clear range is very simple. Again, we entitled this clear range to match the function we're calling. We're going to first create a variable. Common thing to do is to name it SS. This just gets the active spreadsheet. So it calls it from the spreadsheet app, get active. Then we create another variable, the ranges, and we call it on this sheet, this active sheet. So from there, we're getting the named ranges. And that's going to give us, that's going to give us a, an array of ranges. So that's going to give us an array of week one, week two, week three, and week four. Then we're just going to iterate over all those ranges by using a for each loop. So we're going to call the ranges variable we just created dot for each. And then for every range, I'm going to get the range. So that's basically looking at this first item in the array right here. And on that item, I'm going to call this method, which gets the name of it, week one, gets that range. And then from that range, I'm going to clear the contents. So the clear content is another method that literally clears the content. And that's it, guys. It's, it's as simple as that. The other way to do it down here, if you for some reason did not want to or, or could not use named ranges, you can also use hard-coded A1 notation. A1 notation is, of course, this notation down here that you're probably used to seeing. So you can do the same thing, var ss, get the active spreadsheet. And actually, uh, this was left over from when I copied this down the first time. You don't need that line uh, because we just need var list of ranges. And we are getting the range list. And we're actually hard coding this list. So we you know can put any ranges in A1 notation in here separated by commas and enclosed in brackets because this is another array. And then from this list of ranges, we can simply clear the content. And that's it. I hope that's helpful for you. If it was, please hit the like button. If you find my content helpful, please hit the subscribe button. I'm making weekly content on coding and spreadsheets like this. 
regularly and loving doing it. I appreciate your support. You're awesome. Bye.